Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you all doing well in our previous lecture we studied about the skeletal system of humans in which we learned about the different parts of our skeleton in today's lecture i'll tell you about the joints first of all let's try to understand what joints are you already know that our bodies our skeletal system is made up of different bones as many as 206 bones and these bones are joined together at different places for example our elbow or shoulder or our wrist bones are joined together and such places where two bones join together this is what we call a joint so joint is simply a place where two bones join together these bones are actually joined by specific connective tissues which are called as ligaments like here you can see in the picture this is the ligament so ligaments actually these are specific connective tissues which are tough and flexible and they join together two bones apart from this ligament there is in the material which is called as cartilage which is present which is present at the ends of the bones like here you can see this is the cartilage this is the cartilage this cartilage this is also a tough and elastic tissue and it reduces the friction between the two bones during movement apart from reducing the uh, friction and being a part of this uh, these joints these cartilages are present at different places in our body like our ear or nose again this is also tough and flexible you, uh, it's elastic you can actually compress your ear or you can stretch it so this is what we mean by elastic tissue so joints are actually those places where two bones join and after that these bones are joined together by a material by a specific connective tissue which is tough flexible and these tissues are called as ligaments after that at the ends of the bones there is another tough and elastic tissue which is called as cartilage and which reduces the friction between the two bones while movement so this was about joints now let's talk about different types of joints first one is immovable joint immovable joint is simply that joint or those joints which do not allow any movement for example when we talk about our skull i already told you in our previous lecture that except the lower jaw all other bones in our skull are immovable that means we cannot move these bones like here you can see this is a joint but it does not allow any sort of movement so this is what we mean by immovable joints after that there are some other joints which allow certain amount of movement for example when we talk about our vertebral column or the spine or the backbone you already know that it's made up of as many as 33 vertebr vertebrae and when we talk about these vertebrae these are also joined together so there is a joint between every adjacent on this uh, vertebrae and these vertebrae are slightly movable joints that means they allow very little amount of movement 
So this is what we mean by immovable joints and slightly movable joints. Immovable joints, they do not allow any sort of movement. While as slightly movable joints, they allow certain uh, some amount of movement. Another type, another type of joints is freely movable joint. Freely movable joints. These are freely movable and they allow movement of the bones in different directions. And these freely movable joints are further divided into four different types. We have four types of freely movable joints. First one is ball and socket joint. Ball and socket joint. In this type, in these type of joints, one bone is ball shaped while other forms a cup shaped socket. Like here you can see in the picture, this is the picture of our shoulder and this is the humerus bone. This is the humerus, this one, this is the humerus. And here you can see it has a ball like structure. This is a ball like structure while as the scapula this very particular bone this very particular bone it has formed a cup shaped structure so this is what we mean by ball and socket joint one bone is ball shaped while other is socket shaped or cup shaped this ball fits in that very particular cup shaped structure of the other bone and it allows movement in every direction it allows movement in every direction for example our shoulder we can move our shoulder in every direction and our hip we can also move our hip in every direction <clears throat> so this is what we mean by ball and socket joint another type of this freely movable joint is hinge joint This hinge joint, as compared to the ball and socket joint, it allows movement only in one direction. It allows movement only in one direction. For example, the joint which is present at our elbow, like here, it's, it's a type of hinge joint. That means it allows movement in only one direction. We cannot we can just move our elbow upwards or downwards but not towards our right or left when we move our this uh, when we try to move it we are actually moving our shoulder and not this very particular elbow so this is what we mean by hinge joint elbow and knee joints are the examples of hinge joints another type of this freely movable joints is pivot joint this joint is present at our neck that means where the head and the backbone joins that very particular joint is actually pivot type and it allows movement movement of our head rather or skull we can say in different directions we can move our head forward or backward we can turn it towards our right or left so this is what we mean by pivot joint another one is gliding joint this is present in our this ankle size type of joints are present in our ankle or our wrist in, the, in this very particular type of joint, that's gliding joint, the two bones, one bone glides over the other. Like here, as you can see in the picture, this very particular bone glides over this one. And such type of joints, that's gliding joint, they also allow movement in almost every direction, like you can move your wrist in almost every direction but not as much as we can move our shoulder 
so it allows slight movement in every direction so this was all about the joints we studied about different types of joints immovable joints slightly movable joints and freely movable joints and after that we studied about freely movable joints there are four types of freely movable joints one is ball and socket joint which allows direction in almost every direction hinge joint which allows movement in only one direction after that pivot joint and gliding joint so this was all about joints now let's take a look at our muscular system when we talk about muscles these muscles as you can see these are attached to our bones these are attached to our bones and these are also attached by a specific connective tissue which is called as tendon so the material or the connective tissue which joins two bones is called a ligament while as that very particular connective tissue which joins a bone with a muscle is called a tendon so this is the difference between ligament and tendon so tendons join muscles with the bones now what's the function of these muscles these muscles actually these these help in the movement of our body that means we can move our uh, these joints we can move our bones at our joints with the help of these muscles we are actually contracting our muscles so this is what we mean by uh, it helps in the movement of body that means these are we are actually moving our muscles which uh, ultimately move our bones we can't move our bones directly we move our bones with the help of our muscles and these uh, muscles these contract and relax and while contraction they move bones in one direction while uh, when they relax they move the muscles uh, these these bones in different direction there are different muscles for different types of movements certain uh, muscles which contract while others which relax so this was about the muscular system there are different number of muscles in our body as we can say there are as many as 800 muscles in our body and this number actually varies from one individual to the other so this was about muscular system first we studied about joints and then muscular system hope you guys understood so this was it for now thank you